We're in Jasper Active, Word 2019. Lesson two, we're gonna do the using cut, copy, and paste exercise. So if this is the first time you're doing it, click learn. Otherwise, you'll click that practice button. All right, we're gonna open and save a document. So we're gonna open the fall newsletter document from our resource files folder and then save it into our pro my projects folder with a different title. So I'm gonna start um, by using the little shortcut down here and opening our fall newsletter by double clicking it right out of our instruction panel. So our fall newsletter is open, there it is. And now I need to save it. So I'm gonna to go to the file tab and click save as because I'm changing the location and I'm changing the title. I need to make sure I do save as instead of save. I'm gonna click on browse and then I'm going to find my Jasper Active folder. Down at the bottom. And this time I wanna select my projects because we're saving. And I just need to add the word my to my title. So it says my fall newsletter. And then I'm gonna click the save button. I can now see that my title has changed up here at the top in my title bar. And then on the home tab in the clipboard group, click the clipboard dialog box launcher button to display the clipboard task pane at the screen on the left. So our dialog box launcher always lives in the lower right corner of a group. So I'm gonna click on this little guy and there is my clipboard. I'm gonna clear that because I had something else in there. All right, so that's all I need to do for step one. I'm gonna mark that as answered. I go to step two. We're gonna open the Heli Ski Tours review and the Experiencing Antarctica documents. All right, so I have those both down here and I can just double click them to open them up. But now I have three total documents open. So if I hover over my Word icon down on my taskbar, I can see all three of those documents and I can navigate to each one of them pretty quickly. So we're gonna prepare to copy or cut items from some of those articles into our newsletter. All right, we need to make sure we have the Experiencing Antarctica document up. If you don't, go ahead and click down on your Word icon and find it and select it. So that's the one that you can see. We're going to select the heading and the first paragraph that ends to experience the natural splendor of Antarctica. All right, so I'm going to select the heading. That's this right here. So I'm just starting clicking and dragging. I don't need to use non-consecutive text, right? It's all consecutive, so I can just click and drag over it. Now again, I clicked into my instruction panel, so it looks like my selection has disappeared. But if I click back into Word, it's still there. On the Home tab and in the clipboard group, we're going to click Cut. All right, so let me go back to here. I'm going to the Home tab to our clipboard group, and then finding the cut icon. Now remember, when you hover over your different icons, it tells you what they are. The cut icon looks like a small pair of scissors. When I cut it, you're gonna notice that it has taken that text out of my document, and it's placed it on the clipboard. All right, we're gonna switch to the My Fall Newsletter document and then position the mouse cursor in the blank line below the paragraph that starts with what's happening. So down on the bottom, I'm gonna click on my word icon or hover so I can see my open documents. I'm gonna click on my fall newsletter so that that document comes up. And looking over here, you can see there's the text that we cut out of the other document. So now Jasper Active wanted us to position our cursor in the blank line below what's happening. So I'm just putting my cursor right there. Now on the home tab in the clipboard group, we're gonna click paste. 
So now what has happened is the text that we cut, we cut earlier it was just hanging out here on our clipboard. We pasted it, and so now it shows up in our newsletter. We're going to mark that step as answered and go to step three. We're going to switch over to the Heli Ski Tours Review. So down here at the bottom, click Heli Ski Tours Review. And we're going to select the heading that starts Heli Ski Tours. And we're going to select all the way to the end of the second paragraph of text that ends the environmental impact of our tours. So I'm starting right here, click and drag. And then here's our second paragraph. And there's our text we're looking, the environmental impact of our tours. I can select it like that. And this time on the Home tab in the Clipboard group, we're going to select the Copy function. Now, Copy, when we click that, you're going to see that it has copied that text right here, but it still keeps it in our original document, right? So we just, now we have a copy of that instead of cutting it out. We're going to switch to our newsletter document and then click in the blank line below the paragraph that starts with updates. Okay, so click right here in this blank line. And then over here with the Heli Ski Tours, just make sure you're getting the correct text. If I click on it, it's going to put it right in here. So I didn't actually have to click the Paste button. I can click on the text that's on my clipboard, and it will insert it for me. Now we want to save this document, so I'm just going to use the Quick Access Toolbar and click on the Save. Doesn't look like it does much, but sometimes you'll notice that the title will move a little bit. So if I do that again, it didn't do it that time. That's okay. I know it's saved. I can mark as answered and go to the next step. So this is to close without saving. So we're going to switch to the Experiencing Antarctica document. And I'm going to close this without saving. So when it asks, do you want to continue? Yes, I do. And then I'm going to switch to the Heli Ski Tours document. I am also going to close that without saving. And by not saving the documents, any changes that you made don't change the original document. So even though I cut this section out, if I reopen that document, it's still going to be in there because I didn't save um, the changes that I made. Now I'm going to mark as answered and go to step three, or I'm, <laughs> step five. It's been a long day. All right, so for step five, we're going to clear the clipboard. In the clipboard, click clear all to remove all items on the clipboard. So now my clipboard is empty, and then I need to click the close button. That's all I need to do for step five. I'm going to mark as answered and click submit. Ta-da!